to make a 5D applique with the use of a plain fabric. I'll also be teaching you how to create two different types of templates, okay? Templates are the designs you want to use for the 5D applique. So you can see videos of different design that you can create with your template okay so with my video you'll be able to create any of this design okay so let's get started to start with you need the length of the template you want to create the length and the width it means how how long you want it to be and how wide you want the template to be okay that you'll be using for this design okay so in this video i think i use 4.5 by 2.5 okay so the length was about 4.5 and the width was about 2.5 okay so i used it in creating a box after doing that i divided the box into two equal halves so that whatever design you have on the right side will be the same thing that you have on the left side so it is always important to get the midpoint of your template okay so now you want to draw the shape of the template the shape that you want sometimes your french curve might not do and then you would want to use your hands okay then you continue with your french curve so you can create whatever kind of um, design that you want okay it might be in a rectangular form it might be a square it might be a leaf shape a banana leaf different types of templates depending on what you want so yes i'm using a white pattern paper yes you can also use a brown pattern paper depending on what kind of paper is available to you so you can use any of them so now i'm also creating another design so i will be creating two different types of design you can create your yours okay so it is not a must to use the same design that i'm using in this video okay this is just to show you how to create two types okay so you can create more than that i'm done doing my templates okay so i'll just be cutting out the pattern like as you can see in the video if you're still watching and you've not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel like right now so that you'll be the first person to get a notification when i post a new video i am right so stay glued to this channel okay so i'm done cutting out the template okay so i'll be working with this yellow plain fabric so you can use any color of your choice now you want to laminate your fabric okay so i'll be putting a fusible web on my fabric okay it is called the emming gum after doing that i'll be covering with my bobby net okay it's also called the crinoline net in the market so you want to cover with a pattern paper so that the hemming gum won't stain the iron okay so i'm done laminating the fabric so you can see that the fabric and the crinoline net is glued together okay so i have laminated my fabric now i created my pattern into two so that i'll be able to cut it twice instead of me to re repeat the same process okay so you can create the same pattern to about three or more okay so that you'll be able to cut all of it at a go so i'm also placing the other shape this is like a triangular shape here okay so i'll pin it when i'm done i'll then i'll cut it out you have to cut it out to the same shape that you've done you're not going to be adding any seam allowance okay because you're not sewing any of them okay so i'm done cutting out my templates okay on the fabric okay so i'm just taking out the pins to see the shape that i have yeah i have one looking like a leaf and the other one looking like a kite yeah it's a kite okay so i'm just laying the pattern on the table and then i'm going to show you a few full view of it so that you see how beautiful it is looking so at this point i'm done arranging the templates on the table and it is looking beautiful okay so now you want to cover the back part of the fabric and you want to use 
our copper wire okay so you can either use a copper wire or you leave it like that so it depends on the style you are making okay so i'm putting the copper wire and i will stop half inch above let me just say 0 0.25 above 0 0.25 below the template okay so you are not doing the exact template okay length okay so then i'm putting in the last one okay because i have done the three parts already so you must make sure that your copper wire is straight okay so that by the time you are using your gun glue it will be able to sit perfectly okay so we'll be using our gun glue to glue the copper wire on the fabric yes okay so we'll be using the gun glue to glue it down as you can see in the video the next thing is to use your fusible web which is called your hemming gum then you place it on the parts that you glue the copper wire okay so as you can see in the video so i'm just placing my hemming gum you place it all around the bodies okay all the sides you must be there So after that, you'll be covering with another fabric, okay? So because you want to cover the rough side, okay? So now you can sprinkle water or you press your steam iron to press hot steam. So here I am done with laminating the fabric. So because of the copper wire inside of the fabric, okay, you can actually bend it to any shape that you want. It's not all designed that has the copper wire inside of it okay so i will be showing you the second type in the with the second shape okay because you know i did two shape as the templates okay so now you can use it bare and you can use it with the copper wire depending on the style that you're making okay so you can as well add trimmings appliques any kind of design stones to the edge of the template okay so you can not just the edge you can put it anywhere you want to put it you can do any design that you want for me i'm using this crystal chain okay so i'm just putting it at the edge of the template okay so you can actually create whatever kind of design and how you want it to look beautiful on your own okay so this is beautiful now let's move to the second kind of template okay for the triangular template you just be placing your hemming gum at the back of it that part that the crinoline is sitting okay and then you'll be using your fabric to cover it like so as you can see in the video and then you can sprinkle some water and then you iron it okay so you will check the front and the back looks the same okay so you can actually make use of your templates like this you can put it on your cage arts 